Hi, welcome to my channel to Irrational. I'm Pranay Sharma and in this video, we'll go through the basic instructions that you should follow before giving the examination from IFOA in September 2022. We will go through the exam handbook provided by the IFOA for this examination. You should definitely check that out. I have given the link in the description. The first thing that we will go through is the softwares required for our examination. Now we write all our examination in Microsoft Word. You need to have Microsoft Word 2013 or later. Now the Excel examinations that is in CM1 and CM2 are given in Microsoft Excel. You will need to have 2013 or later for both of them. These are paid software. So you will have to check through Microsoft website whether you have the correct ones or not. Then we have a few free softwares. Now our examination question paper would be given in the PDF format. So you'll have to download either Adobe Reader or any other PDF format, uh, PDF reader. Adobe Reader is a free software. So you can search on Google and download it from there. The second one is going to be WinRAR or WinZip or any other compression software because a few files might be compressed, especially for paper B, CS1, CM1, CS2, CS2. CM2 for these papers you might get files that are in compressed format you will have to uncompress them for that you require WinRAR or WinZip these are also free softwares you can download from the respective websites for CS1 CS2 paper B examination you will require R programming as well as R studio after requiring all the softwares that are required let's go through the account preparation that we need to do. Make sure that your email address as well as mobile number mentioned in the IFOA account is correct because they will be contacting you through email and you will require your phone details for entering the examination. You may receive email correspondence through these four different email addresses. You can have email at the rate notification dot actuaries dot org dot uk or you can have exam support at actuaries dot org dot uk alerts at online practical exams dot org dot uk or member service at actuaries dot org dot uk so make sure none of these emails go through go to your spam or junk mail two weeks before your examination you will get an email through alerts at online practical exam dot org dot uk. It will detail all the information that you will require for your online examination platform. By any chance, if you have not received that email, do email back at exam support at the rate actuaries dot org dot uk that you have not received the email and they will reply as soon as possible to what the problem might be. Now in that email, you will get a description of how to verify your platform. You'll have to verify your login details, your mobile number, and then also do a download and upload check. Now let's see an example how that might look like. The email that you will receive would look something like this. It will detail your examination and how to set up your account. To access the exam platform, you will have to find the hyperlink where it says login. When you click on login, it will ask you to create a password. After setting the password, the website will ask you to confirm your mobile number. After you enter the mobile number, it will send you the verification code that you will have to enter in this pop up box. Then you will receive a message that your activation is complete. This has to be done at least one day before the examination. I would definitely suggest that you do it one week or maybe two weeks before. As soon as you get the email, you should go through this and make sure you don't have any problem in activating your account. Once your setup is complete, you will be able to log into your online exam platform through this web page. You can see here we have online practical exams dot org dot uk. You should definitely bookmark this link. For login, your ARN number is going to be your login. 
and the password that you have just created. The second step is going to be equipment check. This equipment check must be done before your examination. Otherwise, you will not be able to download the question paper during your examination. After you have logged in into your exam platform, you might see such a red colored banner which says you must complete the equipment check before attempting to access this examination. Click to check now. It will show you the list of all the examinations that you are going to give and you will have to go through the equipment check for each one of them. You will click the view examination button here. After that, it will take you to the equipment check page where you can check your equipment. It will ask you to download a file. It will ask you to upload a file. You can upload a word file where you have written maybe one line, one word. Just write one line, word, word, save the file and then try to upload it. The downloading area, you can see here, you can check by clicking this download check. It will give you a file that will be downloaded. Then you will have an upload area where you will click browse and upload the word file. You can then preview that upload file to make sure that it is the correct file that you have uploaded. And then you can click the upload check button. Once you have done that, it will show you something like this, that equipment check upload is complete. Once you have done that, now you are ready to give the examination. I'll make a separate video for what to do on the day of the examination. So you should like, share and subscribe so that you don't miss that one. Do check out other videos in the description, especially the one that is talking about plagiarism and how to avoid it when it comes to IFOA examination. And I'll see you in the next one.